Hey everybody, it's Alex Ziskin from Native Scripting. I decided to do this one more bonus video for the series on the progress bar. In this series, we've created a simple progress bar, then we've animated the progress bar using JavaScript, then we've added RxJS and RxJS animations. And in this video, we're just gonna extend that and use RxJS and Angular concepts. We're gonna create a pipe out of our animations, a reusable pipe that you can use for any animation scenario using RxJS. All right, let's take a look. All right, so here we are in the project. It took us a few videos to get here. And now we have a little bit of a mess on our hands, don't we? We have our percent dollar here, which is a behavior subject, a percent animated observable. And we have all these extra functions here. Of course, you can separate them out into a utilities library, which is recommended, but you can also create a pipe from them if you're using Angular. So if you're using Angular, you might've used the concept of a pipe before, and that's a convenient way to wrap up some functionality. Let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna create a new folder called pipes. And in this folder, I'm gonna create a tween pipe, tween.pipe.ts. Angular pipes need to have a pipe decorator and they need to implement the pipe transform interface. So let's do that. Here's our pipe decorator. We're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it tween pipe. Let's export a class called tween pipe. Now that I think of it, I should have used a snippet to do all this for me, but it's really not that much to write. So here's our class implementing pipe transform, which only has one function and that's transform. We're gonna pass in some kind of value here. We don't know what that is just yet, but we will. And then we're just gonna have some args here of any array, and then we'll return any. Most of you people that have watched my courses, you know that I don't like the any type. I like to actually type things, otherwise what's the point of using TypeScript? So we'll change that out. So now we need to transform the value that's coming in, and I'll put some other value. What are we trying to do here? Well, in our progress bar component, which looks like this, by the way. We have a progress bar, we can tap go, and away it goes. This is animated now, thanks to the functions we have down here. This MS elapsed, duration, distance, previous and current, and tween. These are all functions that we've progressively built in the last few videos. All right, I'm gonna take all these out, and I'm gonna put them here in my tween pipe file. Of course, now this file is confused, because it doesn't know what any of these RxJS things are. So let's go up here to our imports and I'm gonna go ahead and copy these RxJS imports. Really, you should have these somewhere else in your application. Okay, no more TypeScript complaints, great. Let's take a look at what we're doing here. We are binding our percent animated observable right here and we're subscribing using the async pipe and that's how we're getting the animation updates to our UI but our initial behavior subject is what actually gets updated and that's this percent dollar. So percent dollar is a source in a way. So instead of binding to percent animated up here, let's bind to percent dollar instead and then shoot that value through the tween pipe and then we're gonna async subscribe to it. So now we don't need this percent animated here. Let's take this out. So now we're getting this percent dollar, which is a behavior subject, but it's actually an observable, right? Because a behavior subject is an observable. So our source for our tween here is gonna be value, and let's make it value dollar so we know it's an observable, and let's set that to be an observable of type number. And we wanna return something from that tween, and this is expecting another observable to be returned. So let's go ahead and return an observable of type number again. So we're gonna take our value, we wanna pipe it through our tween function, and you know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and copy what we had right here, because that's exactly what we're doing. We're just doing it in a pipe now. And let's return all this. One complaint we're getting is D3 is undefined, so let's go ahead up here to our component and import D3 like we did there. No complaints now. So that was simple, right? Let's save all this and see if it works. Ah, what did I miss? Ah, my tween pipe is actually, is unknown. What is a tween pipe? We don't know what a tween pipe is and neither does our Angular app until we register it in our app module. Let's go to our declarations here and I'm gonna register our tween pipe in the declarations array. And here is our app. It's not breaking anymore, I'm gonna tap go and it's working just like before. 
So now we've managed to get rid of all that logic and put it in a pipe and smoke it. Now I can go ahead and clean up my component and there we go. We don't need this anymore. All we need to do is just update percent dollar and everything works. So just a quick little addition to our RxJS animation of the progress bar now using a tween pipe. All right, I'll see you all in the next series of videos. If you have any suggestions of what you want to see, go ahead and comment down below and subscribe to this channel for more tips and tricks and series of tips and tricks like this one. Also, you can follow me. I'm at Digitalix on Twitter and be sure to check out our full length courses from expert native script authors. These courses are available on nativescripting.com. Till next time, folks.